now we are going to uh, use packet tracer to create layer 3 ether channel but you remember ether channel means we combine multiple ports and multiple cables together so to uh, to demonstrate the idea we need switch so from this switch we are going to select one multi-layer switch and the second multi-layer switch because at least we need two switches to 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 connect them and then we need multiple connections in between them so i'm going to use crossover cable and first connection is from fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on the next switch in the same way 0 slash 2 to 0 slash 2 so we connected two switches together using two connections or two ports. Now we go to the uh, command line interface of the first switch and then we enter and for initial configuration we say no and then we go to privilege mode and from privilege mode we go to global configuration mode and the reason to come to global configuration mode is that we want to select these two ports, two interfaces. So for that we use interface and we say range that is f a0 slash 1 to 2 so that is abbreviation for fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 so at the same time both of the ports will be selected with this command so we selected both of the ports and uh, we say no switch port no switch port is the command which will convert it will convert these L2 ports into L3 interfaces, layer 3 interfaces. Okay, so we use them. And uh, then say we are going to create this logical interface first. So interface port channel 1. So what we say, we say exit. And here we say interface port channel 1. So we created this logical interface. And we here say no switch port, no switch port. Again, the reason is that we want to change it into L3 interface, layer 3 interface, and it's done. And then we are again going to this these interfaces. So interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 2. And here we say channel guru and we say one and then we mode in mode we have different after mode we have different options to select so, uh, so just with the help of question mark we can see that we have different options like we have active auto desirable on and passive so we discussed this in, in our uh, slides anyway on means we are going to manually configure the ether channel active and passive as we are uh, the terms that we use uh, LACP or link aggregation control protocol and auto and desirable actually this is this is also part of the dynamic protocol PAGP so uh, we can use either LACP or PAGP dynamic protocol or we can manually configure the ether channel so for instance we are manually going to configure this ether channel at the moment so we just need that term on there and then press enter okay so in this way we created ether channel number one by manual configuration okay and then we say uh, no switch port so no switch port enter and we assign an ip address to it so maybe our ip address 192 because now this is the logical interface so no sorry we need to go to this logical interface that is interface port channel one so this is the logical interface which which, which has been created with this command channel group one so we are going to this logical interface one and you can see for example if you want to see this so do show ip interface interface brief then we can see this that we have other ports in addition to that we also have this port channel as well so this is the logical interface which is there so for that what we do we go to that interface that is interface port channel and one and 
then we assign an IP address to this. So IP address is 192.168.10.1 and then subnet mask 255 and 0. So we assign an IP address. So what we did here, we selected these two interfaces and we created ethers channel using channel group command and then we accessed or we used that ether channel using port channel interface and we assign an IP address. Okay, let's do the same thing on this switch. So what we do first we go to command line interface and then let's maximize it. Say no initial configuration and then enable to go to privilege mode and then to global configuration mode and here we need to select those two ports so i hope you remember you need to select these two ports fa01 and fa02 so we say interface range and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 2 both of the ports have been selected and then we say no switch port to convert these ports into layer 3 ports or layer 3 interfaces and then we create this inter uh, this logical interface that is interface so first we exit from there then we say interface mm, port channel 1 so we created this logical interface and we say no switch port to convert this into L3 interface. And then we again go to those uh, interface range and we again select those ports, physical ports, so interface uh, range, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to 2. And now we create the uh, this uh, channel group, the ether channel. So with the command of channel group one, and then more. We are manually creating, so this is on. So we created this uh, logical interface, and uh, or we can say that we just with the same name we created, we assign, or we assign those all ports to this logical interface. So that's port channel. The channel group, port channel, ether channel, these all are the names for ether channel. So we assign those all ports to this port channel one. And now we are going to exit this and now we are going to access this a logical interface that is interface port channel one. And now we can say we can assign an IP address to this. So IP address 192.168.10.2 maybe because 10.1 we used on the next switch, another switch. So 255.255.255.0. And uh, yes, so what we have done using these commands we have created this ether channel and uh, which is uh, which lies in between these two switches and now to verify that with these commands we have created ether channel then we can use the ether channel summary command so for that we go to this so with control Z, we go to privilege mode and here we say show uh, ether channel summary so double m so summary and enter so you can see with this command ether channel summary we can see that we have created the port channel one and this code this code ru shows that this is layer three and u means this is in use so we had we have created layer three ether channel and these are the ports which are member of this port channel Okay, so this was the first switch and let's see on this switch what's the situation. So again, we control V and say show ether channel and summary. So you can see again, 
same same ports have been assigned to port channel one and that switch as well. And this R and U are the core, so R represents are the flags. Are the flags, so R represents layer three and U represents in use. So you can see this. We have created ether channel between these two switches using those simple commands. So uh, yes. So I hope uh, this was not very difficult. And uh, if you practice uh, using the same steps, I hope you will be able to recreate the same using packet tracer. So thank you.